we were talking before, well, I don't know if we were talking about it. It was in GoFo. We were talking about taking one of these and modding them to put fans on them. Now, I've already gone ahead and done the first steps, which I'll show you in the video. Um, but basically, these are five volt USB fans. And for now, I've just kind of strung wired them together. Uh, and I'm gonna use a extender coming off of the, the rocket power. But what you could do is I could have mounted a small battery directly on here. These aren't gonna consume much and use a battery if you want. So that's where that comes in handy. But actually what I'm waiting on is a voltage uh, controller. So it'll take USB um, micro or mini or whatever and give us a PCB that'll give us the breakout. So actually I'm gonna have a little tiny project box which will be on the back of this when it's done. Uh, but I wanted to do the first part of the video so others could see what happens. Now, one thing to note, and this is what I was concerned with, was screws. Now, I can put some Allen head screws on here that are countersink screws, but you don't need to. I was worried that the iPad, um, that this tray would, would cause it to scuff. What's neat about this is if you look at it with an, I have an iPad Air 2, um, a lot of these iPad Airs in that RAM mount case, they actually can can move there's a gap it'll actually move in it um, which I'll show you again in the video now so even with these rounded heads it actually helps lift and push the iPad off without any stress on it um, which helps give us the space for the air and so just so you know I've decided to do a push-pull system so the bottom fan is pushing the air and the top fan is gonna pull the air and exhaust it so hopefully bring the air up across the back and bring it out uh, and today is a nice, hot, warm day. So we're gonna go fly with it and we're gonna find out how well this does. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a one eight drill bit and we're gonna go and go straight down through the holes of the fan. Now you want to keep it real steady because you don't want to offset the holes and keep them in line. Next, we'll use a one and a half inch wood hole bit. I would have preferred a proper one and a half inch hole saw but I don't seem to have one. Now we're going to move on using the roto zip. I love a roto zip, but I wasn't sure I'd be able to saw this out perfectly clean without first using the one and a half inch bit to give me my my etch and and mark it off for me. Moving on, we're going to use some 100 grit sandpaper and just clean up the edges and make it really smooth. Now, I'm gonna use some 440 by three quarter inch bolts with washers, nuts, and lock washers to secure them in place. Here you can see the gap that the pan head bolts create, giving us plenty of room for the airflow for our fans that are set up in a push-pull system. So it works well. 
and like I said, these uh, actually keep it up because the the actual iPad um, had uh, wiggle room in there. So when it when it closes in, it's not really stressing or scratching the back. I'm gonna hop in here to Kingston, get a drink, file the flight plan back to Ottawa. Later next month when I get the little uh, adapter, um, I'll do the project box and wire it in and attach that permanently so that the cables are, are nicely glued in. Thanks to, I think it was Ken, hopefully it was Ken, who uh, posted the link to the picture of this. It was, uh, it was worth the 20 minutes or whatever to mod it.